Okay, there's been a cold snap, so hopefully my fingers aren't going to be affected by it too much. It's pretty cold right now. I've got the heater going, so hopefully that also is not interfering with the microphone. But I'll find out sooner or later. I was looking at the uh, the book to see how these spikes how they look and uh, they're flat on the bottom and curved kind of curved downward at the top so and I think the ones here at the top are a little bit too wide I'm going to narrow those down and uh, get more of a expanding type of situation going so right now they're very similar in width and I'm going to I'm going to narrow this tip down and narrow these first two and then adjust everything to be in a line. And we'll see. I'm going to take this side down first because I've got that step fracture to deal with. See if I can get close to it and take it out. pretty good now the flanking is random on these so I'm not too worried about it not to worry about creating a median ridge or anything on here. You know, some some points like this have a median ridge. edges are not supposed to be serrated so
what I'm having a little bit of difficulty with is I'm trying to drive a few of these flakes to make it thinner, but then I end up with something that looks like a serration. You know, I get an indentation in the side here with these uh, attempted thinning flakes. I'll show you the drawing again in a minute. You'll see that the sides are very smooth. So it looks like they weren't driving thinning, thinning flakes toward the end. For the final finishing, it looks like they were just randomly pecking at it. But they weren't doing uh, major thinning or creating these indentations on the sides that look like those areas in between the serrations. If you know what I mean. Once I get these two little spikes done at the top, I hope, hopefully things will go faster. narrow points the one thing to remember is you can't you can't put too much pressure on it at all once it gets really narrow because it will snap excuse me for a minute I'm going to adjust this light Stop messing with it for now. I'll clean it up later, smooth it out later. I just need to get these spikes defined. some better or some more narrow picks. Okay. See, because it, it stalls if, if you're not careful or if I'm not careful doing this these uh, areas will stall and I won't be able to won't be able to shape it or thin it down. So hopefully
hopefully with this one narrow pick I can get in there and catch an edge there it goes those defined a little bit better I can do uh, I can start moving faster and then do more of a random flaking pattern instead of these little pe uh, these little picking type flakes because now it looks it looks a little bit too uh, too methodical on these in the book You know they're not they're not symmetrical. Everything's random. It's not perfect. I still got to go a little bit more narrow, probably. Yeah. Some of these are not that narrow. So I guess I got a happy medium here. I do need to sharpen that tip or make it a little more narrow near the tip near the tip of the tip okay so I'm going to start going faster a little more haphazard
has some of the same issues as antler you'll see me press on here more than once the flakes don't always release copper is a little bit better it's more aggressive as far as that's concerned it'll release a flake or it'll take a flake easier you don't have to fuss with it as much see right there I, I pressed on it didn't take a flake off that's coming with antler too then you end up pressing a lot on the same area and installing it with copper it's more aggressive you can usually take a flake where you want it I'm also probably getting dull Heater is also heating up my leg on this side a lot, so I'm having to move my leg around a little bit. I'm pushing pretty hard. I'm trying to get a flake to travel. Still want to lose that spike. I don't want to lose the sharpness on the four on the uh, the front part of that spike. It's got to be razor sharp. I can't stall it. Getting a little bit of stalling there. So that's the main issue. I'm still trying to define the front spikes and be careful about the proportions and at the same time not push too hard because it'll snap off the whole tip and then maintain sharpness on the front of that spike. I'm sure they did all that uh, subconsciously on these arrowheads back in the day. Alright, so the first pair is tiny and then they get larger. So that's what I'll be doing. I wish the whole pad was black, but oh well. There's no room to grind in between these notches, or there is if I use a file or something, but I'm not going to do that. Starts to, starting to get fat right there. I could take a pretty good flake, but I'm right kind of in the middle. Usually when I push really hard in the middle, it'll snap the whole thing. You know, it'll snap in half. So I'm, I think I'm going to have to live with that bulge right there. Let's see. One more try. Try to run a flake across. I got a 
hold it better. aggressive and risk it to get some of those flakes to travel. You know, risk snapping it. Try to get some thinness. Okay, it's progressing pretty good. I'm going to stop there and continue on the next video.